All right, now we're going to bring in a guest from Matt's favorite city, East Lansing. I think it's Oh, East yeah, Lansing. a very happy place today. Yeah, happy. Uh, and I go ahead and unmute there, April. Absolutely. How are you? Great. You got a little shaft of light there looking like a halo. I know. And I, down. I'm trying, was trying to relocate where I'm sitting, and I don't know that it's going to make a huge difference. Uh, close enough. Okay. And uh, I, I, thought, I, I thought Izzo was I the only like I, I was gonna say I thought Izzo was the only one with a halo around him today. Yeah, well, you know, you she's at a bank, so you know. Anyway, uh, <laughs> is it Clobes? Clobis, like I. Clobis. Okay, good. I wasn't sure. You are the president and CEO of that aforementioned MSU Federal Credit Union, and uh, what caught my eye was uh, you guys have some money that you've invested in some fintech companies. If I read the. Yeah. The press release correctly was considerable amount of money, about eight million bucks, right? Yes, in this in this round of funding, it was eight million. We've done incrementally more than that previously. Okay, and this was in four different companies, right? Yes, that is correct. Was it equally shared? So they just got two million no. bucks, or no? It was various amounts uh, depending on the information um, from the companies. And so some are in different stages of growth and startup. And so we pair our investments generally to um, the type of work that is being done and the size and scope of the company at the time. Sure. All yeah. right, so tell me a little bit about um, how you came to establish a credit union service organization called Reseda Group. And I'm curious to know where the name came from as well. Sure. Uh, that is that is essentially a, a venture capital or private equity firm for fintech companies. Yeah. Okay. So I'll try to do this as succinctly as possible. So in our industry of the credit unions, um, it is by regulation permissible to invest um, into, there's a calculation. So we have a defined amount of money. We are permitted to invest in what are called credit union service organizations. So credit union service organizations, QSOs in our world, um, are designed to be companies providing a service or product to the um, industry. And so you can, but they have to serve the industry, right? So what we have done is use our ability to invest in QSOs and help some technology startups create a QSO, which makes them available to the industry, not just our credit union, but to all credit unions. And so kind of like you talked about, right? So in startup and FinTech mode, which is actually where I'm at this week, I'm in FinTech meetup, um, you have lots of people investing in your technology. Well, if it is a bank or a venture capital or a private equity, it usually means that that new technology is going to those industries, not the credit union industry. And so for us to be relevant, to remain competitive, we wanted to ensure that that technology was also available in our industry, in our space. So we decided that we were going to create the Reseda Group, which is a holding company format for all of our investments to be under this company. So we have a variety of investments in a variety of different technology companies. Um, we have some also suppliers. So we have diversification in the portfolio in the type of technology as well as in their where they are in the startup mode. So some are in growth, some are in you know early you know design. Um, and for us, it's the ability to help with that. So Reseda comes from, uh, you know, it's a verdant green plant. It's growing and thriving in an environment. So kind of like mm. green things at MSU, um, you know, and so it, it, it signals that we're making investments in the future for things that might grow. Yeah, and I, I've got to admit, I, when I think of credit unions, I don't think of them investing this kind of money. It's kind of, that's what really caught my eye is, uh, you must be very successful at the MSU credit union and have extra $8 million laying around to invest. So uh, you have a big credit union? Just give me a little background on that. Sure. Um, so we never just have random money laying around. But I was going to yeah. say, I just happen to have $8 million on the same. What do you think? Okay, yeah, yeah let's do it. No, but let's wait. So we are, our credit union's $7.3 billion in assets. No kidding. So wow. there are just under 5,000 credit unions in the United States, and we are number 43 in asset size. So we are wow. a large credit union. Um, and so there is a 1% calculation of uh, insured deposits 
um, that we can do. So if you, I, it's not exactly 1% of all assets, right? But it, it makes it pretty easy to do math if you say, you know, it's close to our asset size. So if you're seven, billion dollars you can invest 70 million um and so in our total investment portfolio it's a very small amount of the money that we are able to invest um and we look at this as an opportunity to do some research and development provide new products and services it's really deploying our capital in a new way, right? We could have spent 7 million and had partner relationships. We could have spent 7 million and, you know, hired people to create the technology instead of doing the investment. So um, for us, it's really a way to deploy just about yeah. 70 million total when, when we have the right blend of companies for investment in the long run um, to have a product suite that are relevant to our members. Some of our tech investments bring a solution where you can round up and pay off your student loan. So of course we serve a lot of students and that's a relevant technology. So it's easier to make the investment to partner than to create that type of technology ourselves where we wanna focus on our core business. So yeah, that was my next question is, uh, tell me a little bit about the companies that you've invested in. All yeah. Four, they, all four of these companies I saw in the release have a, have a different focus. So let's talk about all four. All four. So in this release, I'm working to remember exactly which four we do. We do enough that I want to make sure. So we have Larky um, and we have Nimbus and I'm trying to remember the other two. I'm sorry, off the top of my head. It's okay, I can uh, look them up too while you're talking. Oh yeah, I was just going to do that. So how about we start with Larky? Um, Larky is an Ann Arbor based uh, company um, and they create um, their software does nudge technology and geolocation. And so what that means is we can embed their tech stack in our mobile apps and we can nudge members information. So sometimes um, you need to tell them that a branch is closed and it's, you know, it has to be relevant. So it geolocates um, where they're at with their mobile app and then nudges them with the right message. So in our case, something that's great that we like about this software from a business perspective. Um, so we talk a lot about MSU. Let's say you're going to see Tom Izzo play. Um, we know that you, because we can geolocate you, we know you're at Breslin. And then we also know that you carry our credit card. Well, our credit card gives 2% cash back anytime you buy something on MSU's campus. So we can nudge you and say, don't forget to use this card while you're at concessions today, it will actually mm. earn you 2% back. So that technology you know, has a great element to create engagement with members and also help them take advantage of what they're investing in. So is that AI? Like, what is doing the nudge? Is that the AI element or what? Um, so the, within that is, um, we have, so there's tech stacks. So yes, there's some AI and, but we also can code in um, like what actions we want to happen, right? So it's oh. kind of more, it has a backend system that does um, like, we can create a campaign as, as you will. So like we know when game day is, we can block it and say on game day, we want to nudge this message. Um, to these, this group of members, if that makes sense. And so there's a little, there's of course some AI and tech built in, but then we have some ability to manage the messaging as well as manage the campaign information. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, uh, uh, next next up, uh, let's talk about uh, prize out. Yeah, so prize out is, so prize out is a, uh, linked base to increase your like gift card spend. So the so best thing to describe this, let's say we're all in Michigan here. So we're familiar with Meyer grocery store. If you know today you're going to go grocery shopping at Meyer and you might spend a hundred dollars, you can go to um, the prize out link embedded within our home banking, say, I would like to buy a hundred dollar Meyer gift card, use your debit card from the credit union. So, um, but then what happens is Meyer Kroger, um, you know, depending on your market, um, other similar grocery stores like Target has groceries can then now bid and say, but I will give you $110 for your $100 that you want to spend on groceries today. And maybe the next one picks 115 and then somebody picks 112 and you can decide 
how much incremental do I want for my hundred dollars and which um, retailer do I want the, to go to today? And so really it's designed to kind of give you a little bit more for your shopping experience that you are already going to be having in your life. So um, it's a great way to boost what I would say members purchasing power. And that's what we appreciated about it. Hmm. Very cool. Uh, let's see, next up on my list here is Flow Networks. Flow Networks. So Flow Networks is uh, gamification. Um, and so Flow is, so we do serve a lot of young folks. So I always have to say that. So our membership is a little younger than maybe traditional uh, financial institutions because we serve the university. So what Flow has done is create, we can go back to the Tom Izzo experience. This is a great day to connect all this. Um, we, they have a game within our mobile app. So MSU has tip off Friday um, or Thursday, I think for their round. And so the 24 hours beforehand, we can use Larky to nudge a message to our members who have a card and say, play the game with us. And so it's a basketball game with, uh, you can digitally you know, make shots, but you earn shots by utilizing, by doing behaviors within our system. So right now it's set up to, if you, you know, for every credit card swipe you make, you get a play. And so then people play and they get on the leaderboard and then they get a prize. And so it's really designed to keep people engaged with our brand and doing the behaviors that they already are engaging in. Um, and so for us, it's also putting our credit card versus another organization's credit card top of wallet because then they want those game plays. Um, and why I think that's important is because as a credit union, our credit card rates are much lower than what you might see elsewhere. So it's also, if you're going to use a credit card, we have a better financial experience for you, but also then it's more fun. And so we did a pilot with for 30,000 members and we had, you know, a significant lift in people engaging. They get within 30 seconds of the notice that their, can, the game will start, they start playing. So it's it's been a lot of fun to see that and it's designed you know, we have lots of playbooks is what they call them um, to launch other things. So, you know, if you go to certain, um, you know, you, you do certain activities, like, so maybe if you do grocery spend, a gas spend or whatever, you can do a accumulation, kind of like a scratch off, then you get an eligible prize. Um, again, so just kind of helps people stay focused on their relationship with our institution. Okay. And the last one that was mentioned in the most recent uh, round of fundings was Nimbus. Yeah. So Nimbus is a um, software that is a core banking platform. And we are using Nimbus to launch two digital only brands. So an equivalent, if you've heard of Chime, they consider themselves a digital only brand. So no branches with it. And so our brand is called Alumnify, and it is designed for all of the MSU alums who, you know, left East Lansing, may not have kept their account with us. And um, so they have a whole robust digital experience. And it is separate then from the, the software core system that we're currently running for the, the credit union membership as a whole. And this is all upon its own self-contained. So everything is digital focused. I can open my new account, I can fund it. Um, they have, you know, software tech embedded in there. So you can do cash flow management set your goals and, um, you know, how you're spending and what you want to save for. Um, it integrates to some of our other technology partners. So you can, um, within this, round up your debit transactions and spade, which is spend, save, and give. So I can spend, round up to a savings or round up to make a micro donation to a charity of my choice. And so lots of technology embedded in it, but Nimbus is, uh, definitely helping us grow our uh, reach into our membership. So how far do you think this might go? I mean, how, how many of these kinds of investments do you think you might, uh, you might make? Um, so I'm here uh, at this conference called FinTech Meetup where there are <laughs> thousands of FinTechs, right? So, but for us, the goal is to find one that matches with the product offering we think our members may be interested in. Um, I like to you know, partner as an investor as well because then you help them grow. You can also um, 
you know, oftentimes take a board seat and help with the roadmap so it's relevant to credit unions. Um, so our would say ours is limited to our 1% uh, regulatory cap. And so as the credit union grows, that 1% grows. And I can see us, you know, right now we have a total of um, 24 investments in our portfolio. I can see that, you know, adding, you know, five to 10 um, a year as we move forward. Okay. Are you there, Matt? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, well, uh, interesting indeed. And how does one find out more about your credit union? Uh, I'm sure you've got a website and all that. Yeah, we do. Um, I'll direct you to two places. MSUFCU.org uh, is the credit union. And then Reseda Group is R-E-S-E-D-A uh, group. So you might want to look that up. That has more of like our investment arm. Um, and so, but the credit union is our, is our main consumer product. 